Are Nathan and his marriage both on their way to a full recovery? And once they get there, is that when that psycho Carrie's going to show back up? I'm Matt Mitovich, and we're on the set of One Tree Hill with James Lafferty. Something that the fans want to know. Mm -hmm. Your eyes, green or blue? My eyes, that's... that's there seems actually, to be some debate out that's there. That's a good question. It kind of depends on uh, what kind of shirt I wear, but um, it's... They're like a gray blue, but if I wear like a green shirt, then sometimes it look a little bit green. Okay. <laughs> On a more serious matters, I was uh, speaking to Mark Schwann the other day, mm -hmm. and he said that Nathan might be on track for a bit of a uh, miracle recovery this season. Yeah. Well, that's you know Nathan's goal. He's trying to get his life back, um, and he's trying to hit, reclaim his identity as sort of you know a basketball player and, and an athlete, which is all he's ever known. And um, so that's, you know, he's trying his hardest to, to make it back to where he used to be. Do you agree with that mission of his? I do. I do. I think it's, I think it's really in tune with, with Nathan's character. He's not just competitive, you know, when it comes to sports, he's competitive with himself and he's got a lot of pride and he's not, you know, going to lay down and die when, um, when something tough like this comes along. Um, he, he tried to lay down and die, but um, I think that that you know Haley and you know his relationship with his his wife and his family was something that really picked him back up and made him realize that it was time to um, it was time to make something of himself. How are things going for Nathan and Haley when the season premiere picks up? Um, good, good. You know, there's um, there's obviously still you know there's still wounds that that need to be healed. I think because of Nathan's you know the, the dark place that he went to and the way he sort of alienated himself you know from his wife and and um, was a bad role model for his son for a while but um but he's he's working his way back to you know the father and the husband that he knows he should be when we come back and, and um, that really reflects well in the relationship I think but what if hypothetically Carrie were to resurface if hypothetically Carrie were to resurface um, I think that the drama would um, I think the drama would not be so much between Nathan and Carrie and Haley and more so between Carrie and the rest of the, the family unit as a whole, I think, mm -hmm. with the threat of, of Nanny Carrie. They'd unite and, like, you know, kill her or something, <laughs> bury her in a shallow ditch. Yeah, it would be a different, there would be a different dynamic. One reader asks, is it safe to say that we'll get more Nathan Haley love scenes this season? It's safe to say, uh, I think there is, you know, there's less turmoil between Nathan and Haley uh, this season, certainly less than there was in season five, because Nathan, you know, isn't going to go to a place that dark. Um, but... As far as, you know, the Trans Nathan Haley... As far as translating to actual love scenes... Into actual love scenes, maybe, you're just going to have to watch and find out. Okay. <laughs> Danielle wants to know if we'll be seeing more of the nathan Peyton friendship. Uh, that's that's actually a good question. Um, I'm not really sure. You know, Peyton and Nathan lead lives that are very different, I think, at this point. Yeah. And, um, and their paths have gone really, you know, away from each other. And they're definitely still friends. But um, I think that there's so much going on in each of their lives that um, I don't think we're going to see too much, you know, Nathan Payton interaction. Maybe we will, though. I mean, we're not done shooting the season, so. Andrew, Andrea wants to know if you miss it all playing the kind of jerk that Nathan was during season one. Um, a little bit. I got sort. I got my fix with that at the beginning of season five. Um, you know, when Nathan was really, really frustrated and he took it out on the people around him and himself. Um, but yeah, there is a part of me that does miss playing, you know, playing the jerk and, you know, playing the cocky guy that, that nobody really likes and doesn't really like anybody. Um, it didn't last for very long that Nathan played that guy. It was really just for season one, uh, really like the first half of season one. And um, But, you know, since it is somebody that he once was, yeah. there is always the possibility that he could go back there. Uh, yeah, I guess there's, a, there's, always, there's yeah. always that possibility. Um, and I think that I, I do get to play that sometimes in scenes with Dan because, you know, Nathan really doesn't like Dan anymore, doesn't yeah. want to have anything to do with him. And so um, I think that a little bit of that, that toughness comes out in Nathan in my scenes with Dan, which I enjoy playing. <laughs> Katie wants to know, does being a dad on the show make you itch to be a dad in real life? Not at all. Not even a little bit. It's really, it's really fun to play a father, um, and it's really interesting. And I think it, it's good for me as an actor um, to get in tune with that, and uh, you know, and to try to to try to put myself in the position of somebody that was a father, and to look at situations like we have written on the show and think, how did my father deal with a situation like that, or how would he have dealt with a situation like that? And it, you know, it's it makes you think, you know, would I actually be capable of this? But 
I'm 23 years old. I'm 23 years old, and it no in no way makes me want to have a son or a daughter yet. So, yeah. <laughs> and the last question, Rich wants to know, what was it like doing a shower scene with Tori DeVito's Carrie versus doing it with your wife, you know, Bethany Joy? Um, Awkward, uncomfortable, strange. No, it's you know the same because Joy's not really my wife and. Tori's, you know, not really my nanny, or my son's nanny or anything, you know. We're all just actresses and actors and, you know, we're all wearing board shorts and underwear and pasties and everything where the camera can't see, so <laughs> it's, all, it's all equally as awkward no matter who you do it with.